Okay, I'm in here in our front room and all the windows here were never finished out. So this crack right here, which it is insulated, doesn't have a uh, finish trim. So I'm putting what's called shoe mold. Shoe mold is like a quarter round, but it's kind of flat on one side, kind of longer on the edge. And so this shoe mold will go right up in there. But when you, when you join the corners, you normally would cut a 45 degree angle. That's not cut for this window, it's cut for the other side, but you would cut it at a 45 degree angle. The problem is when you try, try to put two 45 degrees together, chances are these windows are not exactly 90 degrees right here. It's gonna be off just a fraction, so when you put the two joints together, you're gonna have a crack. So a second method to doing it besides just doing uh, 45s is to do what's called a coping cut. And a coping cut is you cut your board at a 45 degree angle using your miter saw. Then you come back and cut out the, the, the wood here and match the curve. And you're taking the wood off of the back side of, of the board. And when you place those two together, it'll hide your joint. Let me show you what I'm talking about. So for example, I would, you got it going? Okay, so for example, if you sit, put it together like that, it's not a 45 degree, this, one, this end is actually flat. So you'd place this in the corner of the window just like that, and now you're bored and you, you have a nice cut. Now what you might have to do, let me show you how to make a coping cut. Just pause it. So I've cut this one out of 45 with a miter saw, okay? And, and you wanna cut all of them the same. So you'll always have a piece of wood that has a, a flat, uh, a 90 degree cut on one end and then a 45 on the other. But here's what you do, this is a coping saw. So um, it's got a really thin blade, uh, it's bendable and you can turn it and direct it the way you wanna go. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this point right here uh, I don't want to get the pause it anymore. So I've got it laying on my, my uh, tabletop here. I'm, a, I'm using my finger just to place the blade right below the tip. So we're going to cut this area out along this line right here. So when I put my blade on there, I'm going to draw it back. Take it really easy and just go right along the edge of that curve. It doesn't have to be perfect because I'll show you how we're going to fix it once we finish cutting it out. I'm having to turn the blade to try to match that curve. And then once we get it all cut out, so now it's kind of a scalloped look to it. It's not exactly even. Now I'm going to take my sample here and put those together it's okay but it's not quite fitting exactly like I want so now I'm going to take a Dremel tool here's a Dremel tool with just a round sanding bit and we're going to take that and just go in here and just take off some of that high spots you want to get this right here just almost a 90 degree if you're doing shoe mode. Now, I don't know, I can't tell you what you're going to do if you're doing this regular quarter round. Alright, so I smoothed that out. So let's take a look and see how it fits now. Much better, but see, I got a little bump right there. So I'm gonna take my Dremel saw and just touch it right there. Just to straighten that, not straighten it out, but round that curve out. And voila. Now when I nail those into the, into the window, 
And then what you do next, now that you've got this cut, and I've already cut all of these, I've only got one more to go. Then when I go to place it in the window, I'll get over here. If it goes in this one right here, I'm going to push it all the way to the top, measure that, and then I'm going to cut this off right here. So I'm, I've cut these an, a little bit extra long. So that once I get ready to put it in place, I can cut it to the exact length and it'll fit perfect. But then I'll take my skinny piece or my short piece to go across the top, do it the same way. It'll have a butt in on this side and a coat in on this side. And again, I'll just go up there and make sure uh, my measurement is right, cut the shorter piece to exact length, slide, it, slide the butt over here, and then nail it and then go, go to the next piece. And that's how you do a coping cut. There's not a lot of YouTube videos that show you exactly how to do this. They talk about it. You hear about it in magazines. But I just kind of figured this out on my own. So there you go.